Good evening, folks. Brian here, Geomagnetic Earthwatch, Monday, September 1st, 2025. This evening, I want to talk about the theory of the uh, crustal displacement, which was first proposed by Mr. Charles Hapgood in the 1950s. The theory suggests that the Earth's crust can move independently of the mantle below it, causing catastrophic earthquakes, tsunamis, ice ages, etc. Coincidental with this theory was changes in Earth's magnetic field at that time. Which, that process, which is happening right now, the geomagnetic excursion and the weakening and the destabilization of our protective magnetic field. I will uh, explain to you why I have a serious problems with this. And there's no evidence of the uh, crustal displacement. So many of you have been here long enough. You know what this means. So mantle plumes, which are anchored to the outer core of the planet where the magnetic field is generated from, rise up through the two layers of the mantle to the underside of the lithosphere in which the, in which the crust and the ocean sit upon. Then you have the mantle plume head, which can expand into thousands of kilometers in diameters. And I have a theory that it has branches, arms, nodes, pushing up underneath the crust. The theory is that the crustal displacement, the crust disengages from the mantle and slides like that. Problem. These are anchored to the outer core. They don't move. They could be stretched a little bit. The Hawaiian islands, for example, were formed from a hot spot, a mantle plume. But the chain of islands were formed over a very, very, very long process, millions of years of crustal shift. It's a great difference between someone who proclaims that the shift, the crust is going to disengage and it's going to move however many degrees and whatever, 30 minutes, half a day, whatever. So let's take a look at some pictures. So here we have the inner core, the outer core where the magnetic field is generated from and anchored to the outer core, we have our mantle plumes. The mantle. And the crustal displacement theory is the crust here disengages from the mantle and rotates or shifts. But our mantle plumes stay in place. And here, as I've mentioned, the Hawaiian hot spot. The Hawaiian islands are formed from the hot spot. The chain of islands formed over a process taking millions of years. Here's an example of the Iceland hot spot or mantle plume. I'm going to play this animation of the uh, global crustal displacement illustration. We're not talking about a change in the axis of the Earth. We're talking about disengaging of the crust from the mantle, such as depicted here. Here's the problem with that theory. So if the crust just unlocks and shifts this way, that mantle plume is now going to be under a new location of either the crust or the ocean. As it is now, Let's just say these knuckles are the chains of the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Hawaiian hot spot, formed over millions of years, over a gradual motion of the crust. But the crustal displacement theory is this. So the question I have is, 
show me the evidence of the changing volcanism through the Earth's crusts or the oceans. The uh, mantle plumes don't do this. It unlocks for the mantle. So where's that evidence? So for example, so has them, as, as has been showed, the uh, Iceland hotspot, Hawaiian hotspot, and many others have been there for millions and billions of years. Where's the evidence that they've disengaged through, let's say, I don't know, Micronova? Where's, where, where's the evidence? I'm just, I'm looking for it. I can't find it. This is why I don't believe in the crustal displacement theory, as opposed to a full axial tilt from the gravitational pull from a perturber, such as been discovered in the early 1900s by the astronomer, astronomers uh, Percival Lowell, who discovered that the two outer planets orbits were being pulled out of their alignment, or they were being pulled down, which can only be explained by an external influence. So, now as it's been observed and reported for the past quite a few years now, people are seeing the sun not setting or rising where it should be. So this suggests either one, a gradual crustal displacement or a shift in the actual axis of the planet. The whole planet is gradually shifting as opposed to the crust. So again, where, where's the geological evidence what was over the Hawaiian hotspot? What was over the Iceland hotspot? What was over Yellowstone hotspot? What was over all the other hotspots before? Now, there's one particular person who likes to go with this uh, theory, the Micronova, who stated, well, hotspots don't exist. Really? If hotspots don't exist, how are the Hawaiian Islands formed? in Iceland, and so on. So I'm just, I'm presenting to you why I don't necessarily believe in the crustal displacement theory. And I lean to an axial tilt, the whole planet gradually rotating over because of the perturber, the gravitational influence, the pull. Anyway, folks, just uh, expressing my thoughts, a little bit of a presentation. If anybody can show me, uh, give me links, any evidence. Uh, to this theory, I'd be happy to take a look at it. That was all, as you were. <laughs>